Hello, the Virtual Scotsman here. After the success of the previous Moon Arch video, I was asked to make a tutorial on how exactly to achieve this Moon Arch orbit. If you didn't watch the previous video, here's a recap. Any craft you place on this particular orbit will pass through the Moon Arch consistently. It's the perfect place for a station if you care little about practicality, only about the flashiness. Here's how you put a craft on this orbit. The Moon is tightly locked to Kerbin. This means that the same side of the Moon faces Kerbin at all times. It also means that one day on the Moon is the same as its orbital period around Kerbin. In order to make our craft swing by the exact same point on the Moon, our craft needs to be on a multiple of this value. Given the Moon's small sphere of influence, we cannot do this every single orbit, nor two, nor three. There must be a minimum of four orbits to remain inside the sphere of influence of the Moon. In the end, the exact orbital period we're aiming for is 1 day, 3 hours, 39 minutes, and 6.609 seconds. First you need a craft with a low thrust to weight ratio. Set your engines to 0.5% thrust. This should be good. Let's open the cheat menu using Ctrl, Alt, and F12. Select Set Orbit on the left side. The only factor which affects your orbital period is actually your semi-major axis. This is the distance between the center of an ellipse and the outermost points. With this value decided, we can work on the others. Next we have the inclination. This is measured from the equator of the planet, zero being an equatorial orbit, and 90 degrees for a polar orbit. This orbit could work with other values close to 90 degrees, which I encourage you to explore, but making it a polar orbit makes other parameters easier to decide. Set this to 90 degrees for now. Eccentricity controls our periapsis. Set this to 0 0.83805. This value actually causes the periapsis to be below the terrain under the moon arch. If you take a look at the mountain behind the arch, you'll see why. The perigee cannot be inside the moon arch. It would make our trajectory too flat. It must be inside the crater to the south of it. Meaning as you pass through the moon arch, you're ascending and can clear the hill with good margin for large craft. Next, we need to adjust our MNA. Set this to negative 0.1. This controls how close to the periapsis we will spawn, negative being before. In many cases, the periapsis will be inside the moon until we adjust other values. Setting this to negative 0.1 will spawn us just before the periapsis at a safe altitude. I would recommend cheating a craft under the arch so you can view its location in map view. Use these parameters to place a craft under it. Next, we will set our argument of periapsis. This changes the location of our periapsis north and south because we are on a polar orbit. Set this to negative six. This is close to the center of the large crater. Lastly, we can adjust the longitude of ascending node, LAN. This will change depending on the moon's current rotation. Click override safety check and then click set orbit. Now go to the map view and see how close our orbit is to the moon arch. If the arch is to the left of the orbit, Adjust it by making LAN more negative, positive to go right. Once you are close to the arch, change your MNA to zero. This will spawn you directly at the periapsis inside the large crater. You should get a view of the moon arch for the first time now. Adjust the LAN little by little, negative to go left, positive to go right, until you are to the right side of the arch. If you are approaching from the opposite direction, this will still work, just reversed. Once you're very close and to the right side of the arch, adjust your MNA to 0 0.006, positive. Keep hitting set orbit until it seems that you'll pass directly through the center of the arch. The moon's rotation is what is making your craft move to the left. Once you are through the arch successfully, open Kerbo Engineer or any other mod which allows you to view your exact orbital period. Thrust prograde to increase your orbital period, or retrograde to decrease. You are aiming for precisely 6.603 seconds. Any more, and after the next orbit, you will be to the left of your first pass. Less, and you will be to the right. There you have it. If your craft is approaching a collision on the right side of the arch, then you need to increase the orbital period by under a second. That is by thrusting prograde. Play around, find what works for you. I hope this is informative. If you like this video, Check out my other videos on the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.